Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Open Topography DEM downloader in QGIS. It pulls digital elevation model data directly from Open Topography into your QGIS project. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and install the Open Topography plugin. So if we come up here to the menu toolbar and under plugins, we go to manage and install plugins. In the search bar, I'm clicking on all. You can start typing in type open topography and it should be this one right here, open topography DEM downloader. So what this plugin does, it could grab these DEM, all these different styles from opentopography.org. In order for this to work, we do need an API key from opentopography.org. And we'll go through that step in just one, one moment here. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. It shouldn't take too long. Um, but once that's done, you should get the installed successfully note on top there. We could go ahead and close out. And in your menu bar somewhere, it should be this little icon for open topography. So let's go ahead and go to opentopography.org. I'll leave a link in the description down below for a direct link to this website. Uh, we do hit this button here to request an API key, but it does require that you have an account. Um, go ahead and click on this regardless. So I already have an account, um, and I would go ahead and log in. If I didn't, I would simply create a new account you just put some basic information about yourself and your email address. Once you do that, you go and log in. So I'll go and log in and here's your API key. So let's go and select an area that we want to get a DEM. So I'm coming down over here to Mount Rainier National Park in Washington. And I'll leave it like that. Now let's go ahead and open up that open topography uh, plugin. The top menu here says select DEM to download. So these are all the different types of DEMs we could choose from. Uh, for this example, I'm going to select SRTM 30 meter. Define the extent to download. So we have a couple choices here. We calculate from a particular layer that we might have in the map. Calculate from the layout, a bookmark. You, these might be the most common ones you might use is use the current map extent, which I'll use, or you could draw on the map and you could just basically draw a box around what you want. But I'm just gonna use the current extent because I zoomed into what I wanted. And here is my extent. You go and add your API key here. And once you use it once, it should remember that for next time. So you don't need to add that again. For the output raster, you could um, hit the little down button here and save to a file. But for this example, I'm just gonna do a temporary file. So I'll click on run, and this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's added the DEM nicely to my map. And what I'll do is go and style this a little bit by coming up to Symbology. I'll change from single band gray to hillshade. And I'll click on apply and say okay. And I'll right click onto the layer, make a copy or duplicate layer. Double click again, and this time I'll do pseudo band, or I'm sorry, single band pseudo color. And then down over the color ramp, I'll hit the down arrow, and I will create a new color ramp based on the CPT city. I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did about adding a, all these additional color ramps. So from here, I'm going to select topography and 
and I will select DM screen. And I'll say OK. And I'll add some transparency to that. Maybe just bring it down a, a bit. I'll click on OK. Turn off my piece map. And it looks like I could probably come down a little more in that transparency. Okay, we'll turn off our base map and turn back on that layer behind it. And there we go. So it's, this is just a, a, an easy way to pull in um, digital elevation model or DEM data directly into your QGIS project from opentopography.org. As always, if you guys have any questions about any of these steps that I've shown, please leave a, a comment down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I try to put out a new video once a week, so definitely hit that subscribe button. If you guys are already subscribed, I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.